What's up everybody, my name is Chris Mohan, aka Rob Savage, and we're here again with another episode of 600 Seconds with Hilo Art. But before we get started, make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, man, because today we got a very special guest who goes by the name of... Bitter. Y'all give it up for Bitter. <laughs> What's up, Bitter? How you doing today? I am doing well. How about yourself, man? I'm doing fantastic, man. That's good. Before, That's good. Before we get started, I want you to look at that camera right there and let the people know what it is that you do. I do me. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> so how did you how did you get started? Uh, how did I get started? Yeah. From the beginning. I'm gonna be that time. I'm I'm I'm, I'm fucking with you, man. I'm <laughs> fucking with you, man. I'm gonna be that cryptic ass yeah. dude. Nah, man. I'm put it like this. I rhyme. Uh, one of the things that got me started, man. I mean, I always like I always loved it. Uh, um, you know, just hip hop, man. You know, as a kid in the '80s, man, you get like the two. The, the two the two tape decks you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah. that you can sit there and rap it you can yeah. beatbox it and you could play the other tape deck record the rap over the beatbox so all of that you know and um you know just something you know when i started rhyming in college and stuff with my crew it was like a certain type of camaraderie you know and also yeah. too in that era it was uh cool to be clever and just have your own thing your own way with the wordplay and i just fell in love with the whole wordplay you know what i'm right, saying right right so right that's that Nah, yeah, nah, that's what's up, man. Uh, who's some of your biggest influences, man? Who, who got you like that? Hmm? Who got you into it? Who got me into it? Uh, you know what? When I first heard Rock Him in 86, I was mm. like, damn, I got to do this shit. Okay. Yeah. I ain't know how. But right. as you can see now, ain't that motherfucker that can fuck up my style. Nah, but uh, nah, it, uh, Rock Him was like. Back in the day, Greenville Memorial Auditorium, man. My stepdad, my uh, my uncle, man. We went. We was, I, I saw Rakim move the crowd. It was just him and a DJ, and you know Eric B. Everybody else had backup dancers and shit. No, this cat, different breed. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why they call him the God MC. You know right, what I'm saying? Nah, nah you're right. Uh, talk to us about isms of, of art. What is that? What's that? All, what is that all about? Well, Isms of Art, man, I can um, basically I direct you to the site, IsmsOfArt.com. But for the most part, uh, I rock with Isms of Art. That's my, uh, that's my crew, you know what I'm saying, out here in Columbia, man. And um, what we do is we're a creative collective, you know what I'm saying? And what we pretty much, you know, we just, just lay low and do our thing, you know, essentially. Uh, we see how that we see with the um, we see with the uh, in the past before COVID and stuff. You know, we had other things going on for us, outdoor activities for us, the Art and Link and all that stuff, the Art and Link and Tunnel, the Chalk Art and all that stuff. But you know, maybe we'll get back to that again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Since people can get closer together without right. having masks and stuff, you know, and everybody boosted up and all of that. Get it back started. Yeah, yeah. but you know, but uh, basically, essentially, it's a, it's a creative collective. You know. And uh, right now, we're just working on our individual projects mm -hmm. together. You know what I'm saying? Like, collectively working on our individual projects. Like, you need help on that? Okay, boom. I'm going to help you with this. Okay, boom. I want you to do this on this. All right, cool, boom. You know, so yeah, that's how Absolutely, it's absolutely. What does it mean to be a journeyman, a journeyman M MC? Explain a journeyman that to MC? me. journeyman MC? Yeah, explain oh, that to me. Oh, man, dude. I mean, shit. <laughs> a journeyman MC? Yeah, yeah. Walk around, fight, wait on this rap shit. Just walk around, fight, wait on this rap shit. You know what I'm saying? With the, with the mentality of like, oh, you got a rhyme, I got a rhyme, my, my rhyme's better than yours. What? Right, Let's right, go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or not reason. even, not even like, not even my rhyme's better than yours, but the case of, I, I'm here. You know, I walk around, fight, wait on this rhyme stuff. And when I say that, it, I think about Emmanuel Augustus, who was like the, con the, 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 the consummate journeyman MC that was an underdog, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who literally walked around fight weight at all times. Yeah, you see always what ready. Saying? What? Yeah. And you, you look up Floyd Mayweather, he tell you that's the toughest fight he ever fought. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Floyd Mayweather Jr. He'll say that's the toughest opponent he ever faced. Emmanuel Augustus, the drunken master. And that was the journeyman. He was a journeyman boxer. Right. 
So I always I took that mentality like shit, man. You know, I walk around fight weight on this rhyme stuff. You know, I mean, it might I might not. Hey, you might get me. You might not. You know, I'm looking at the knot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, I definitely get that that vibe, that energy from you. Even with this, the one the one song that we have collaborated on, okay, you yeah. came in there ready to ready to bite everybody's head off. I kind of I love it, man. I love it. It made me want to step up too. That's how it is. Um, but you've been you've been to a few places from Louisiana, Shot Town, South Carolina. What's which place would be your favorite and why? Man, I look at I put it like favorite place. My favorite place is where I, wherever I am at that particular time. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, is uh, you know. I used to look at, uh, you know, one of the things they say, comparison is a thief of joy. You know, people always talk about being present and being in the moment. And that's something that I've had to learn to do, being present and being in the moment. And part of being present and being in the moment is being grateful for where you are, you know. Not sitting there saying, being complacent and being like, oh, I'm here. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere else. <laughs> like EO off of Winnie the Pooh. Nah. Or Snuffle Up against OK Birds. Nah, you know what I'm saying? But the whole thing is, is like, you know, be grateful for where you are. So wherever I am, man, I'm grateful for that. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's my favorite place right now. So I guess my house is my favorite spot. Absolutely, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's a great, great energy to live off of, for real. You know what I'm saying? Um, what current or future projects are you working on right now? Man, um, really, I'm working on trying to take over the world in six easy steps. Nah, I'm BSing. I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm being silly, man. I'm being silly. Um, Working on another project with a partner of mine, supposed to be running through, coming through here a little bit later on. Tracks makes the beat, you know what I'm saying? Uh, working on some stuff with my business partner, Mustafa, and all of that, you know, with isms. And, uh, shit. Working on the job, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's why yeah. I look so tired, y'all. I'm always, you know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm Captain Brown around town, you know what I'm hey, saying? We all got nine to fives out here. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's currently on your music playlist? Like, what you listen to? NPR. Got to get that podcast podcast in or what? The nerdy nerdy people radio man. Yeah. NPR. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I listen to man. No music. You don't be right around. Right. Um. Every now and again, you know, when I, I tell you what, like uh, one of the things I will pull up and listen to, like if I'm driving, you know, something I listen to is uh, it's like listen to instrumentals or whatever. Yeah. But uh, if I'm trying to. Like a, like a like a, a pump me up song, you know. Sean Price, Monkey Bars. Monkey Bars. I'm not aware. Yeah. I'm not familiar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you know. Uh, I check it out. <laughs> you check it out, but like something like that, you know, the Monkey Bars album, you know, that right there, just okay, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like if I'm tired, and I'm like. Uh, Peep my words, bro. Okay, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that, that that that's 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 a go-to for me right there. But for the most part, man, I just been listening to NPR and one of my favorite rappers, me. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that. Um, a little bit off of business. What's your favorite movie of all time? Like, what what do you watch? Favorite movie of all time? Yeah. That's hard, man, because I like all kinds of shit, man. You're going to put me on the spot make me say my favorite movie of all time. I, I can always watch Spook Who Sat By The Door. I can watch that over and over again. You said who? Man. The Spook Who Sat By The Door. The Spook Who Sat By The Door. Yeah, I can always watch that. Sam Greenlee wrote the book. Um, it uh, Herbie Hancock did the soundtrack, too. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's an interesting movie, interesting book. You know what I'm saying? The Spook Who Sat By The Door. You know okay, okay. I can always watch that. It takes right. place in the 70s. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah, you know. Born in the 70s, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel that. If you could work with one creative, dead or alive, other than Rob Savage, who would it be? Man, I'm going to tell you right now, that's hard as a motherfucker. Because I'm going to say, first off, I read that question over there. And I'm like, man, maybe one? Just one? You got to pick one, man. Just one. Yo, I ain't gonna front, man. Um, you know what? Rest in power, man. I gotta, uh, I gotta say, I would, I, I would like to sit down and write with Sean Price. Mm. Okay. That motherfucker's a genius. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
I'm not sure. I'm, I, like I said, I got to listen to him. Yeah, you got to check him out, man. But when I say, uh, when you when you like, hold up. What? It's just, he, he's just, yeah. He, yeah. Miracle, he's, he's, miracle. Kind he's, of. He's, he's ridiculous with his word play. It's right, just, right, it's right. just, but at the same time, <laughs> I mean, a line from Sean Price, you know, admire the Admiral Animal Rap. Smacked it out of a nigga, then I hand him his hat. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Kind of gives you his personality. Like, <laughs> right, you know, right, right. I'm going to smack you, but hey, you deserve <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, Here's yeah. your hat back. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, okay. that's the kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> kind of like my man right there. Yeah, shout out to Rob. But on the microphone, though, no, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Man, do you have any um, advice that you would like to give to anybody out there who maybe wants to be an MC or be in a similar position to where you are? Oh, I'm going to say this right here. Uh, Got to quote uh, a dope MC, rest in power, Keith Elam, the guru. It's often easy for someone to give someone advice than it is for someone to take control of their own life. So that's my advice, you know. Um, do what you do, do what you gotta do, do you. Don't worry about nobody else. It ain't no competition with nobody else. You gotta be in competition with yourself from the day before. And call bong. You know what I'm saying? Tracks makes the beat. Salute. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. So you always you're only in competition with yourself man so it's it's uh, that's that's my only advice is like don't don't worry about trying to follow trends you know yeah, the not. whole thing is, is maintain what you are and that will grow you know what i'm saying you ride the wave of a trend you're just riding the wave of a trend you know you may you maintain your style your originality and Motherfuckers gonna be like, who's that motherfucker that sound like that? It don't sound like everybody else. You know, it's gonna happen. Exactly. So, okay. And even if it don't, you feel cool that you're like, I'm, <laughs> right? You know, you I'm know me. <laughs> I ain't no copycat. I ain't no clone. You know what I'm saying? Be your own favorite artist. This is how I look at it. So, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Fife Dog. Rest in power to Fife Dog. If I don't think I'm the shit, then who the hell else will? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, is there anything that we didn't touch on today that you wanted to speak on? Um. Well, one of the things I'm gonna sit there and say is like the thing, the main thing with me about rhyming right now and just dealing with hip hop, you know, is the uh, therapeutic aspect of it for me. You know, a lot of people sit there and say, uh, you know, it's therapeutic to tell your story and da da da. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But me, I, I like the wordplay. I like the wordplay, and it's like if I got something going on in my mind, I ain't got necessarily write about what's going on in my mind, but I can take that energy and and, and manipulate that and use it with my wordplay. And I'm like, oh, 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 and see where that goes. And then also too, you know, how people talk about, uh, you know, having these positive affirmations for themselves and all of that stuff. Well, that's one of the things I look at as far as like rap therapy, you know, I mean, all the different names that I have, I got a lot of names, y'all. I call myself a whole bunch of things and I stand by them. But uh, at the same time, all those different names are like, you know, positive affirmations for me. You know what I'm saying? Blessed Morado, you know the motto I follow was the law of the blessed. You know what I'm saying? So that, that, that keeps me in mind in tune with my blessings. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's that is, uh, you know, the therapeutic aspects of, of, of emceeing and rapping and just writing. I'm not sitting there saying you got to be a, try to aspire to be the dopest MC ever. You know what I'm saying? But just be aspire to, to just create and speak to yourself in a positive light. You know what I'm saying? You know, and present yourself in a positive light or for lack of a better term, an unfuckwittable light, you know, because it's like, well, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't, no one should apologize for being here. No one should apologize for the space they take up. You know what I'm saying? We all here for a reason. So the whole therapeutic aspect of it, you know, and um, to just, Part of that is just like when I write, I strive to be unapologetically dope. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, say it ain't nice. <laughs> or oh, it ain't nice, battle me in. Okay. That kind of stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, that, 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 uh, and also to the rhyming with other people, you know, so the camaraderie of it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The still sharp and still aspect of it, yeah. you know. So that's the thing, you know, hip hop for mental health, H24MH, baby, rap therapy all damn day. That's what it is. But that's it, you know okay. what I'm saying? For the most part. Word, man. Well, we appreciate you. You got any final shout-outs you want to give? Yeah, man. 
Shout out to uh, you know I'm, I'm I'm nice I'm nice with the words I'm nice with the words I don't know too many better than me man I'm powerful with the words but you know what I'm saying ain't nobody spitting harder than God so I want to give props and shouts out to you know the creator of all things yes sir you know what I'm saying whose words are more powerful than anybody's have been here so that's what that is and you know I appreciate coming out. Uh, Thank y'all for listening. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and salute. Hey, we appreciate it. One final question, man. Are you going to bless the stage tonight with a performance? Yeah, I do some shit. No, say Y'all clap it up for bitter. <laughs> Hold your applause. Hold your applause. Hold your applause. It's going to go down later. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. As you know, as you know, it's the return of the man. Y'all can roll applause for Bitter! Return of... Uh, salute. How y'all doing today? Good. Right. Well, well, it's evening, it's evening. God damn, it's bright. I'm on some vampire shit. I'm gonna come to fuck with that. This shit is so bright for my eyes. Think about it. Appreciate y'all coming out. I appreciate y'all spending time right here because y'all gonna be doing something else, but right now y'all fucking with me. I appreciate that. Thank you. Nothing but salute. I'm mean, nothing but gratitude. Salute. Salute. Also, too, we gotta salute the DJ. Let's salute the establishment. My house, you know what I'm saying? Let's tip the way for our establishment and shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and give props to High Low. You know what I'm saying? There it is. Better. Amongst a whole bunch of other names. But we're gonna get into it once you get ready to play. Anyway, one of the things about me is I do this shit for shits and giggles, man. I like to have fun with music, you know what I'm saying? I like to have fun with words. Right now, I'm gonna just let this right here play. Cause it's nothing for me. Being the beat.
there, I'm a throwback on this MC shit and this hip hop shit. So that right there takes me back. That's like. Yeah, uh, you can wait for me. I can get it together. Try to get my together. You can wait for me. I can get it together. Go find you one better. A serious.